Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today, we will walk through transferring videos and photos to a Windows PC computer. We'll also have a video for Mac users if you have an Apple Mac. Now, the Mini 3 uses micro SD cards up to 256 gig, whereas the Mini 3 Pro can write on cards up to 512 gig. In order to transfer files from the SD card to your PC, you might have a built-in micro SD card slot on your PC. Now, if you have an SD card slot only, not a micro SD card slot, you'll need to purchase a micro SD to SD card adapter. If your PC is not equipped with an SD card slot, then you'll need to purchase a simple micro SD card reader to insert into an available USB port. Amazon has a variety of inexpensive readers that will do the job. Now to transfer files to the PC, you'll want to eject the SD card from the Mini 3 or Mini 3 Pro. Now insert the micro SD card into the corresponding SD card slot on the reader. Go ahead and insert the SD card reader into your PC. Now on your PC, open your Windows or File Explorer. This can be done by right-clicking on the Windows icon on the bottom of your PC and choosing File Explorer. Now, after opening your File Explorer, you should see your Mini 3's SD card. I previously named my Mini 3 Pro so as to easily distinguish it from the dozens of other cards I insert and use on my PC on a regular basis. Now, after clicking on your Mini 3's SD card, you should see the contents of the SD card. Now selecting the DCIM folder will bring you to the directory where your media is ultimately stored. To copy all the files into the directory of your choice on your PC, you can right click the 100 media directory and choose copy. Now this directory holds your raw files, your JPEGs and your MP4s. Now, alternatively, you can click and choose what files you'd like to copy and then move on to the last step. Now, the last step, to paste the files or directory into your folder of choice, navigate through the Explorer window, then locate the directory that you'd like to copy to. Open the directory and then right click and paste the files into the said location. After this step is complete, you now have the files from your Mini 3. You're able to edit and modify the files to your liking in your favorite picture or video editor. Well, that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.